When the process of graining is finished, you have to decide where you are going to work on the stone. The less removal, the better with these weights. Leaving the stone on the sink would be the best option. If you do so, you can put the stone a little bit on one side by putting a piece of wood underneath on the other side. So you can better look over the surface of the stone. It can be necessary that for practical reasons you have to turn the stone. Therefore I constructed a simple device out of plywood and a roller bearing. It's very functional and it saves your bag, which is really important. If you have to remove your stone from the sink, then, in my opinion, the best option would be to place the stone on trestles, so you can approach it easily from all sides. This has, of course, all kinds of advantages. Sometimes there is a special wish. Quite a lot of artists are accustomed to work on an easel. So if they come to me to work on stone, they sometimes prefer the king size stone upright. So therefore I realized this possibility. I developed a kind of stretcher, as you see, and in combination with the chain box, I can put the king size stone easily upright. Depending on the drawing materials used, it can be necessary to combine vertical and horizontal situations. With this construction, this is really a piece of cake. Next week I'll show you some additions which are necessary to the king size press. I hope to see you again next week. Bye bye.